Hello dear children, a very good morning to all of you. Children, in this video we shall continue with lesson number 6, parts of a plant. Children, in my previous videos I had taught you and discussed about roots, tap roots, fibrous roots, parts of different parts of the plants, about the work of the root, about shoot, stem, a stem is a part of a shoot and about the work of the stem. So, in this video we shall discuss and I shall teach you about the leaves, flowers, fruits, seeds and germination. So, let us not waste much of our time and read the chapter. Leaf. Leaf is the most important part of the shoot. Observe a leaf closely. The broad and flat surface of a leaf is called the leaf blade or lamina. Each leaf has a tube in the middle. This is called main vein. Many side tubes arise from the main vein called side veins. These veins carry water to all the parts of a leaf. The lower surface of the leaf has many tiny holes. These are called stomata. Plants breed through stomata. Leaves are green because they contain a green pigment called chlorophyll. Chlorophyll helps the plant to absorb sunlight. Now I shall explain this to you. Children, we all know that plant, the main, one of the main parts, the most important part of the plant is the leaf because leaves make food for the whole plant. It is called the kitchen of the plant. It makes food for all the parts with the help of sunlight, air, water and chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is a green color pigment which is present in the leaf. Leaves are green, green in color because it has, it consists, it contains chlorophyll. Let me explain this to you first. Children, observe, uh, take a leaf and observe it very closely. Children, if you observe this leaf very closely, see, leaf. This is also one of the leaves. If you observe the leaves very closely, you can see that the flat part, this flat part is called the leaf blade or lamina. This is the leaf blade or lamina, the flat part. And this vein, the middle vein is called the main vein. This is called the main vein. The vein which is going throughout the leaf is called the main vein and these are the side veins. These are the veins which grows from the side of the main vein. This is called side veins. These side veins help the, these side veins uh, carry water to whole part of the leaf, all the other parts of the leaf to make food. To prepare food, okay. Now, if I turn the leaf like this, children, I am turning the leaf like this. If you see this bottom part of the leaf in a microscope, you will find that it looks like this, like this, and you will find that there are small tiny pores in the leaf in the bottom of the leaf. These tiny pores are called stomata and what stomata does children? Stomata helps the leaves to breathe. It helps the plant to breathe. So, leaves plants breathe through stomata. So, children I have shown you a leaf. Now, you, now I shall I have drawn also, I have drawn a diagram for you. This is a leaf. This is the 
leaf blade or lamina leaf blade or lamina sorry this is the main vein main vein and these are the side veins as i told you children leaves are green because they contain a green pigment there is a pigment there, there is a substance inside the leaf which is called this green color pigment is called chlorophyll chlorophyll helps the plant to absorb sunlight chloros chlorophyll is the substance present in the leaf which is green in color and which helps the leaf to absorb sunlight why do leaves why do plants need sunlight Sun, plants need sunlight to make their food and food for the whole plant is made in made by the leaves it is called the kitchen of the plant green leaves make food for plant with the help of carbon dioxide and water in the presence of chlorophyll and sunlight this process is called photosynthesis the making of the food children how does a green leaf make food it makes food with the help of carbon dioxide which is present in the air and water in the presence of chlorophyll which is already present in the leaf in the leaf and with in the, with the presence of in the presence of sunlight so carbon dioxide water chlorophyll and sunlight when mixes together makes food for the whole plant and this plant this food is made by the kitchen uh, by the leaf the kitchen of the plant and this process of making food is called photosynthesis leaf jo hai pure plant ke liye khana banati hai leaf plant ka kitchen hota hai ye si leaf mein hota hai हमारे घर में जैसे किचन होता है घर में खाना बनता है किस कहाँ बनता है ड्राइंग रूम में नहीं बनता है ना किचन में बनता है तो प्लांट में लीफ बनाता है खाना लीफ के अंदर एक ग्रीन कलर का सब्सटेंस होता है पिगमेंट होता है वो पिगमेंट क्या करता है सनलाइट को अब्जॉर्ब करता है एंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड वाटर क्लोरोफिल और सनलाइट जब मिक्स होते हैं बनता है प्लांट का खाना एंड इस प्रोसेस को बोलते हैं photosynthesis now we shall learn about the work of the leaves leaf ka kya kaam hai leaves are food factories of the plant as they prepare food by the plant as i told, told you children it is the food factory it is the kitchen of the plant so leaves make food for the whole plant leaves help the plant to breathe through stomata the stomata is present at the bottom of the leaf with the help of which the plant breathe plant kaise breathe karta hai stomata se aur stomata kahan hai leaf mein leaf ke andar give out extra water from the plant through stomata the leaves give out extra water from the plant plant mein jitne bhi extra water hai wo stomata se bahar aa jata hai it gives out extra water from the plant through stomata plants like spinach coriander cabbage and mint store food in their leaves these leaves are eaten as food children just like the roots and stems we also eat leaves of few plant which is spinach which are spinach cabbage mint these are all these all they store the food value inside them and we eat these leaves as vegetables